Germany, Europe's largest economy and world leaders in renewable energy. As early as 2018, hardcore renewables have already managed to cover 100% of Germany's energy consumption at one point. But they are slowing down. What's happening? It looks like they are reaching their current limit. Why is Germany turning back to coal? All of that in this video. As of 2022, Germany has 66,000 megawatts capacity of wind and 67,000 megawatts capacity of solar. That is a lot of hardcore renewables. To put those figures in comparison, Germany's peak consumption of electricity at a single time is only around 70,000 megawatts, maybe 80,000 during hot days or cold winters. That means that wind and solar can power 200% of Germany's peak consumption, which only lasts for 2 hours a day. So, with so much installed solar panels and wind turbines, how much renewable energy does Germany actually consume? Around 47%? Wait, what? Yes, the electricity in Germany in 2022 is only around 47% green. They installed so much renewable energy capacity, more than double of what they can consume but only half their consumption is green. Wait, how did we go from 100% covered by renewables to now this? Well, even during the 100% renewable achievement time, there were some terms and conditions fine print. It was a 6 a.m. on New Year's Day. A lot of factories and offices are not open. Electricity demand is not so high. But there was no coal and gas and nuclear running, right? Actually, yes, all of them are still generating. Germany just decides to declare those energy as exported energy and declare the renewables for themselves. And voila, 100% renewables. Also, it was like 6 a.m., so meaning there was like no sun at all. Solar contributed zero to that 100% renewables. It seems that in the recent years, Germany has been curtailing their renewable energy output more and more each year. It has come to a point where installing more panels or more wind turbines will not result in more renewable energy. From curtailing 0.3% in 2010 to now 4% of renewable energy not dispatched in 2022. For comparison, in 2022, the amount of hardcore renewable energy Germany has curtailed is enough to supply the whole of Afghanistan or Moldova for an entire year or any other countries on this list. So we just need to make sure that the hardcore renewables should be the priority, right? Like, dispatch the hardcore renewables first, then only use the other fuels to supply the rest. Well, Germany already has a policy like that in place. Germany's law, the EEG, prioritizes renewable energy dispatch. The intention of this law is to ensure renewable energy investments are encouraged and less risky. The law basically says that hardcore renewables should get priority to be dispatched first. In the event they are curtailed, the owner of the renewables still get paid the same amount. So it's a take or pay arrangement, which would make it more expensive for renewables to not to be dispatched when available. Which is cool and all for Team Green Energy, but due to the network capacity not being sufficient and unable to cater for the large amount of power flow and congestion, the renewables are still curtailed. And who pays for the curtailed renewables? It comes out to the consumer's bill, and they pay for the renewables that never reach their home. So imagine this, buying the organic coffee. But the organic coffee was unable to be delivered to your home because the road was congested, so you never got that organic coffee you ordered. And instead, they delivered a non-organic coffee that you didn't order, and you pay for both the coffees. That's why Germany's bill is among the best. There's quite a story to Germany's energy journey. In 1986, Chernobyl happened. So Germany said, no more nuclear. Nuclear, nine. So we switched to renewables, right? Nine, Germany adopted coal. After a while, nuclear protests somewhat stabilized and so they're keeping quiet and laying low. Then, Fukushima happened. So they committed to shut down nuclear which they did in 2023. In 2019, Germany had some coal protests. So, switch to renewables? Nine begins plan to adopt gas. Then the Russian thingy happened, and then Germany decided to not use Russian gas. All the Russians didn't give the gas. I don't know guys, don't ask me. So we switched to renewables, right? Nine, back to coal. 